Time now for our CCTV roundup, and we've got some particularly cunning crooks this month, so keep your eyes peeled. It's a rainy Wednesday in Smethwick in the West Midlands, and this guy has come prepared. He's got an umbrella for the weather and a gun for a bank job. According to police, he asks for cash in such a calm manner that the customers next to him don't realise for a while that they are in the middle of an armed robbery. The cashier is forced to hand over money and he goes to leave. Not without his brolly, though. Police believe this man is responsible for several other relaxed robberies in the area, totaling £20,000. If you want to see the full footage of all the incidents, then visit the Crime Watch website. And if you know who he is, please get in touch. Rush hour outside the Elephant and Castle shopping centre in South London. Keep your eyes on the man with the phone. He's taking a keen interest in the scooter rider who's preparing to leave. What happens next is too shocking to show in full. Without warning, he lunges and stabs the biker in front of terrified passers-by. The victim runs inside to get help and is later treated in hospital for a large stab wound to his back. Police say this is the suspect entering the shopping centre before the stabbing. Take a long, hard look. Someone knows who this knife-wielding attacker is. He needs to be caught. It's the early hours of a July morning at a chicken shop in Birmingham. A man dressed in black enters the shop backwards. He turns and, according to the worker, shouts Pai aggressively, a Hindi term for brother. As the shop worker approaches the counter, the customer pulls out a shotgun and fires it towards the kitchen ceiling. He then runs away towards Small Heath Park. Listen again, see if you can recognize his voice. This man is armed and dangerous. Can you tell us who he is? It's a perfectly normal day in Grimsby back in March. Apart from these three men dressed in white boiler suits, armed with two hammers and a machete. As they start smashing their way into a jeweler's, the worker bravely tries to fight them off, but is forced to witness the shop being torn apart. The men break into cabinets and window displays, managing to nab nearly £140,000 worth of watches. When they've had their fill, they run back towards their getaway car. Here they are a few minutes later, running away from the dumped car and stripping off at the same time. Police want to find these men, but would also like to identify the man pictured here. He was seen in the store just over a week before the robbery and may have vital information. Get dialing if you can name any of them. Call or text us if you recognise any of that lot. Text will be charged at your standard message rate. And remember, you can follow all of the developments during the programme on our new live updates webpage.